What are we doing, folks? We constantly let the establishment distract us from the real problems facing our nation. We know the media is focused on yay. Uh, we're supposed to take someone seriously just because he supported Donald Trump for five minutes. But when people like yay and Nick Fuentes and Milo Yiannopoulos are taking over the current thing conversation, the question then becomes, what are we being distracted from? Hey everybody, thanks for joining me one more time for another edition of the best kept secret in the conservative movement, things that need to be said. From RCTV, I'm Nick Congatis. Really quick, I'd love it if all of you could head on over to Rumble, subscribe to our channel over there, and hit that plus button. And no matter where you watch our videos, please share, like, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. I love to read what you guys have to say, and I couldn't do what I do without all of you. Now, on with the show. First, let's cut the crap. His name is Kanye West. Sean Combs' name isn't Love or Diddy or any other stupid name. I'm eating my own hair. <laughs> Calvin Brodus isn't Snoop Lion or Snoop or Snoop a Loop or whatever else. Come on, Snoop! Snoop a Loop! They take these alternative names for a couple of reasons. One, for attention and two, because they want to portray themselves to the public as someone they're actually not. Think of West this way, he's an idiot savant. I can't take anything away, at all, from his ability to create hip hop music. He's a genius in the way Michael Jackson was a genius for pop music, Elvis was for rock and roll, Black Sabbath was for heavy metal, and Aretha Franklin was for soul. He wasn't a pioneer of the genre, but he perfected how to make hit music for it. Now all that said, that's where our infatuation with his work should end. In case you missed his comments last week, when you walk out of Tim Pool's podcast because you want to make headlines, and you make Alex Jones cringe at what you're saying, the problem is most likely you. Either he was being a troll manipulated by Fuentes and Yiannopoulos, who are only grifters just interested in expanding their own position in the world, or Kanye, and I'm not calling him yay anymore because that would be like me acquiescing to using the incorrect pronouns for someone who also isn't who they say they are. But the other possibility is that he legitimately believes what he said, in which case he's severely uneducated on well, most things. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Now, one of the things that we're being distracted from is our non-existent border. I've mentioned that we're being diverted from truly understanding what's going on or not going on in our border. And Tucker Carlson actually spoke about it Tuesday evening, just hours after I mentioned to someone I know, if they noticed that no one talks about the border anymore. And if you're a Bolshevik Beijing Biden supporter, why would you care about the border when your pudding orderer in chief says stuff like this? Why go to a border state and not visit the border? Because there's more important thing going on. They're gonna invest billions of dollars in a new enterprise. So what else? You know what absolutely no one of any ideology talks about anymore, save maybe the Paul family? The national debt. As of this recording, the debt stands at nearly 31 and a half trillion dollars. And it's not slowing down either. What happened to those GOP candidates who campaigned on slowing it down, but then sign off on these continuing resolutions that fund things like abortion? Members of both parties have forgotten that the debt even exists and uses increased taxpayer money to fund things that either get stolen by the Chinese Communist Party or given to this guy, newly minted time person of the year, Volodymyr Zelensky. Then again, Time is the same outlet that gave that award three times to FDR, twice to Stalin, and once to Hitler. I'm not comparing Zelensky to any of those other authoritarians. I'm simply pointing it out to give you their track record. And what else are we being distracted from? Perhaps most important is the new information that has come to light about how the previously employed communists at Twitter, allegedly, but most likely intentionally influenced the 2020 election. They knew that their censorship of various stories unflattering to Democrats could have, and probably would have, lost that election for them. So they did what any good communist criminal enterprise would have done. Suppressed the information enough until they got their way. 
Well, no shit. Why do you think they're some of the biggest advocates of early and mail-in voting? I'm not gonna go too deep today, but I just wanted to do what I usually do and give everyone a little wake-up call as to what they're intentionally being distracted by. Grade A propaganda which the left likes to call misinformation. And the only thing is, the establishment, including the social media outlets and platforms, like whichever one you're watching this on right now, are being proven as the largest purveyors of myths and disinformation that we know of. Just remember, whatever the establishment communist media is holding in one of their hands while waving it, don't forget whatever they're holding in the hand they have hiding behind their backs. <gasps> oh. Now before I go, I need to reiterate that if it weren't for you guys as my main motivation for what I do, it wouldn't be nearly as worth it. Now in saying all that, and I don't do this often because I don't like to presume on our conversations as friends, which is like what I said a couple of weeks ago. But if you like the work we do here at MRC TV and the Media Research Center in general, please give a thought of going to mrc.org slash donate as we are a nonprofit organization and really can't do what we do without all of you. So are you awake or woke? If you're the former, were these things that needed to be said? Let me know in the comments where I do read most and reply to some. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel on Rumble and hit that plus button. If you like this video, don't forget to share, comment, and give it a thumbs up. Those are the best ways to help these videos reach more people, and it's the best way to let us know you want us to keep these videos coming. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that YouTube might actually let you know when MRC TV comes out with a new video if they haven't censored it or taken it down yet. Like us on Facebook and check out more of our work at mrctv.org. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kangatis.